compelling question for Oklahoma City High School football is going to be decided on the north side. That's right. It's all at Heritage Hall this year. The final Super 30 selection is out. It's Barry J. Sanders. He's got a great teammate, though. We'll talk about that here on the Press Row from the Opupco Studios. I'm Jenny Carlson, and he's Mike Sherman. Mike, Barry J. Sanders, obviously a fantastic running back, getting a ton of recruiting attention. But he's got a teammate named Sterling Shepard, who's also a heck of a player. These two guys, uh, Barry J., number one on our Super 30, Sterling, number three on our Super 30. But, man, we, these two guys are going to create great excitement throughout the whole year. Great excitement, great controversy, even really within their own program. There's a lot of folks that you heard from last year when Barry J. Sanders was injured and really limited, didn't play much at all in the second half of the season, and Sterling Shepard was going crazy and doing everything. A lot of people were saying, hey, the better player here is Sterling Shepard. That, his legend grows. It grows out of the... St. Mary's gym, where he tore the rim off the basket a couple times. The more you talk to people, the more people really love this kid. And his star has really just soared. Meanwhile, Barry J. Sanders, son of the Hall of Fame running back, has been injured, inactive, and, but we've known about him since he was a wee lad. When he was in eighth grade, the legend, we had assistant sports editors here uh, going to watch him play when he was in junior high. So excited about who he's going to be. There's a little bit of fatigue when we've known about something for a long time, and, and human nature likes the new shiny thing. Last year, Sterling Shepard was, in, for, for some people, the new shiny thing, and Barry J. Sanders was, yeah, we knew that. Well, both are healthy this year. Both are seniors. One committed to OU. The other, OSU, hopes will come there. This is a great story, and the question, Jenny, I have is who's better? Yeah, and I think a lot of people are wondering that, you know, Sterling Shepard, when he and Barry J were playing together, when Barry was healthiest, Sterling really hadn't, I don't think, reached the level where we see him now. He was, he was still kind of coming into his own. Obviously, that was accelerated when Barry got hurt a year ago. But you haven't seen these two guys at peak level together on the field in quite a while. And maybe never, in fact. You know, you might, might say, well, those final games they played together before Barry got hurt last year, maybe there's comparisons there. But you really haven't seen it. This year, we're going to get a chance to see it. Andy Bogart, the coach at Heritage Hall, told me that they had a, a camp in Arkansas recently where it was so hot he was having guys just play offense or defense. And Barry was the one guy that was – trying to play both offense and defense. He couldn't get him off the field. Andy Bogert couldn't. And at that point, the coach told me, he said, I knew he was healthy. I knew he was back to 100%. So we're going to get a chance to see that 100% healthy Barry Sanders. And Mike, I know I didn't answer your question about who's best, but I don't think we know. And frankly, I'm not sure that we need to worry about that at this point. Why not just enjoy what's going on out there? Well, the Oklahoman decided that we need to worry about it because we're doing a <laughs> Super 30 rankings and we have, somebody's got to be number one. Uh, Barry J. Sanders is number one, and Sterling is what, number three? Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a lot of people that think he should be two. There's a lot of people who think he should be one. And it's not just us who want to sort all this out. There's player of the year contention on the rank, on the line. Frankly, if there's bedlam discussion here, one is the son of a former OU star. The other is a, former, a son of a former OSU star. But, and there, everybody wants to know it's the American way, who's best, but you make a great point, Jenny. It's really beside the point. Sometimes we just need to step back and watch. These two young men don't seem to be overly uh, concerned about who's best, and it's not like tennis or golf. It's a team sport. They, they do different things on the field. They complement each other. Heritage Hall is the beneficiary. Definitely. And I think high school football fans or f football fans in general should think of themselves as the beneficiary as well. These guys are going to be playing at least 10 games. And with the talent on their team, you got to think they're going to the playoffs. Here's a chance to see two of the best players, not just in the state, but in the country, together on the same field, you know, every whatever, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, uh, for the next couple months. This is a great chance for football fans in this area to catch two of the really great players on the field. And you can go out and decide for yourself. Mike's right. You know, it is the American way. We want to know who's number one, who's the best. You know, we want to drive the best car. We want to eat at the best restaurants. It, it's, it's how we're sort of wired as a country. So we want to know. Right now, Oklahoma and Super 30, we're saying Barry J is the best. We'll have this conversation again at the end of the year. Hey, stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoma.